Are you looking to monitor your applications like a pro? Want to track performance, find bottlenecks, and boost efficiency? Well, you are in the right place. Because in today's video, we will show you how to use New Relic the powerful observability platform that helps developers and IT teams keep everything running smoothly. From setting up your account to analyzing real-time insights, we will break it down step by step. So whether you're a beginner or looking to sharpen your skills, we've got you covered. So let's begin. First of all, you need to go to the official website, which is going to be newrelic.com from here you have three options on the top right corner you can log in using your credentials click the get a demo button will be forwarded to another page where it only have to do is provide all the information needed but i highly suggest you click the get started free button you can make the account creation easier by signing up using your google jet hub and a lot more or you can use your business or working email and then follow the on-screen instructions. Now, after successfully signing up to New Relic, you will be forwarded to the main homepage. All right. If you want to skip this process, you are welcome to do that. But if you want to tell something about your stack that you're planning to build, because basically New Relic is a full stack observability platform that would help you monitor application infrastructure logs and user experience so let's gonna skip all of these for now and then this is gonna be the main home page right it takes a little while now at this point you also have an option to install your instrument to hosts like linux docker mac os and windows if you don't have any access to host just click on it all right and connect your applications like Java, you select your app's language to start installing. For example, if you're using Java, .NET, PHP, Ruby, Python, Go, and Node.js. If you don't have these, don't worry. Just click on it, all right? Because the idea is we just wanted to test waters if New Relic is going to be the platform for you to help you monitor applications. So there's not nothing of a commitment right now. If you want to, you have. If you want, if you need help from the support, just click on this section. I'm gonna X this and leave this as it is and click the skip button. Now you may notice that New Relic has essentially several sections designed to provide the full stack observability across applications. All right, so we're gonna be dealing with the dashboard. So the dashboard is something that could allow you to customize the visual reports for monitoring key performance metrics. You see, you can browse the pre-built dashboards right here. It'll be forwarded to this page. All right. So you have the dashboards and the apps visualization. So for application monitoring, you have these or infrastructure and OS so you have all these information for you if you want to skip that and create your own dashboard we're going to be hovering again to the dashboard there's an option here where you can create your first dashboard all right so for example this is going to be the name of our new dashboard click the create button and then what will happen is we will be forwarded here we can import dashboard from a previous um, section. If you don't have that, it's easy because you have the sections here where you can add widget. For example, I'm going to add a text. All right. So add text images or link right here. You see, you can preview that as well. I'll dismiss that. Click on save. Checks a little while depending on your internet connection. You can add variable if you want. Right, display news and query. And then display country, which is optional. Display name. And click on save. Okay, so that's going to be. So we're going to skip this entirely. And then we're going to be moving on to our next section, which is query your data. Or basically the integrations and agents first all right on the top left corner now 
the uh, integrations here is basically a section where you can install and manage new relic agents to collect data so these are going to be some of your popular options you have mysql azure microsoft sql server synthetic monitoring and a lot more for example if you want to install new relic apm agent so um, for example to uh, php or kubernetes right for example you can set up that as a form of an integration all right so the next under integrations and agents is going to be the all capabilities it's a centralized view of all new relic features such as ai monitoring alerts amazon web services apm and services and apps all right so this in turn will help you explore and enable different monitoring capabilities for example if you want to enable distributed tracking okay or synthetic monitoring from this section you are welcome to do that by clicking on the specific applications that you want to use for example synthetic uh monitoring from here click this and click the enabled all right create your first monitor if you want click that this in particular can help you explore and enable different monitoring capabilities all right so the next thing after all capabilities is going to be the all entities so what is it basically it displays right here it takes a little while so if it's uh if you're having problem loading that just be patient because it takes a little while for the new relic to load especially if you don't have an active internet connection that could uh vary so this displays all monitored components like apps servers or cloud services all right so you have linux docker mac os windows and kubernetes all right you can view a list of all monitored right here and the fleet deployment and databases now we're gonna go to the query your data essentially this section allows to write nrql or new relic query language queries to retrieve specific data you just have to select an account select the environment and of course select the options below to get started all right so if you're not finding what you're looking for see the other options here for example if you want to if you want to run a query to fetch the top five lowest transactions in an app you can do all these stage by stage right next is going to be the apm and services it's basically the application performance monitoring so you can monitor applications health performance and transactions how by click this button right here where you can add an app or a service this will give you here to provide insights on response time for example you're going to be using kubernetes remontation click on it but the thing is you see when you go to the apm you are going to be forwarded to the integrations and agents basically they work both hand in hand all right so i'm going to skip that instead i'm going to focus my next vid um section about logs because this collects and analyzes logs from applications infrastructure and cloud services by clicking the configure logs you can help troubleshoot errors crashes and system issues all right for example if you're searching here to find authentication errors right in a microsoft services api you can do that by typing in the uh, error here the next thing is going to be the traces traces helps track end-to-end -end requests to flow across microservices click the get started button because this would forward you to identify latency issues in complex architectures again you may notice that you've still been forwarded to the integrations and agents all right next is going to be the synthetic monitoring so now this section is all about simulating user interactions with a website or app if you click the your first monitor you can test availability uptime user flow functionality from different locations all right for example if you want to run a user step execution a synth uh, synthetic test to check if a login page is always accessible you can monitor that you can have a period of 15 minutes to until 30 minutes or one hour and you can choose from any type of browsers for example chrome or fox you have also a designation of the device emulation right now of course alerts are just here for you to create or set up proactive alerts 
for performance and security issues. If you create an alert condition, for example, um, you want to create an alert if the CPU usage ex exceeds 90% on a server, you can create this as well, all right? It supports all email, pager duty, or webhook notifications. So the last of which is gonna be the infrastructure. Basically this monitors the cloud servers, containers and on-premise infrastructure click the instrument your host it will be forwarded here wherein you can track cpu memory disk and network usage next is going to be the kubernetes right so if you click that it provides deep monitoring for kubernetes clusters nodes pods and workloads all right so you have all these but again you are forwarded to the integration so we're going to skip that now, the last is going to be the browser, which is used for real-time monitoring. It's going to be the front-end performance and user experience. If you want to add your first browser app, you're welcome to do that by clicking this button. You need to choose all these. Same with the mobile. Mobile is going to be monitoring the mobile app performance for iOS and Android. But if you want to add your first mobile, you will be forwarded again to the integrations and services. So we're going to skip that. Instead, the last is going to be the errors inbox because this centralizes the dashboard for tracking application errors and exceptions for example if you want to identify a recurring error in an api you need to go in here now again if you believe that new relic is going to be the platform for you click the section right here that up upgrade now button all right so you can manage your plan make sure that your cloud understands that New Relic is going to be or might be the platform that could help you and your company or organization to provide the uh, full stack observability applications that you have been looking for. All right. So the plans and pricing is confirmed. As you can see, the plan has all of these. You just have to provide all the information, credit cards, and all of these. Back to plans if you want right here. The free plan starts with one full platform users, which is free forever. Okay, unlimited free basic users. But if you want to scale up, you might want to go to the standard data end users, and you can have all these perks and benefits. If you want to scale up more for the pro data end users, these are going to be that. And the enterprise, which is, I highly suggest you take the free account first before you dive into a big commitment to scale up to enterprise and data users and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video